hello guys welcome to part two of our skincare beginner series and in today's video we're going to be talking about chemical exfoliation for your face or even just exfoliation in general i'm going to be breaking down to you the types of exfoliation we have and which one is going to be ideal for you based on your skin type so now let us get straight into the video without talking too much now i know a lot of you have questions okay what is exfoliation so exfoliation or your skin exfoliation is basically the removal of dead skin cells from the surface of your body now our body typically sheds dead skin cells every 28 days but we just like to you know hasten up the process by using like you know chemical exfoliation or physical exfoliation just so that our products can penetrate into our skin better now sometimes why your skincare products might not be working for you is because you have too many dead skin cells that are blocking those products from penetrating into your pores okay so by the time you exfoliate by the time you scrub some people call it scrubbing but i like to use exfoliate because it's just more tish by the time you exfoliate or you scrub you're going to make that you know that skin layer softer and you're going to open up those pores and then the next product you're going to apply which could be your body oils your body lotions your serums your face cream whatever is going to penetrate in better and it has a higher chance of giving you a better result now over the of i mean of recent a lot of people have come to realize that not everybody's skin can tolerate manual or physical exfoliation because mind you we have two types of exfoliation we have the manual we have the physical now people have come to realize that not everybody's skin can tolerate manual exfoliation that's the use of those physical scrubs or polish or all those things some people's skins are just so sensitive especially our face but some people's own both face or both body they are entire body is just so sensitive and whenever they use these physical scrubs either on their face or on their body they most times end up with breakout they end up with tears on their skin they end up with so many skincare issues so it has now been discovered all right it's been discovered for a long time but i mean as a beginner you can, you don't have the option to chemically exfoliate now what does chemical exfoliation mean as a layman it's basically a skincare method that utilizes acids enzymes to dissolve and remove dead skin cells to reveal a brighter face clearer skin and to just basically make your product work faster now you'd ask okay what are these acids that people use they are I think there are like I think there are four major kinds of exfoliating acids. The first one is glycolic acid. The second one is mandelic acid. We have lactic acid and we have salicylic acid. Now these acids are categorized under what we call the AHAs and the BHAs. Now the AHAs consist of what we call glycolic acid and lactic acid now these ones are water soluble acids that helps to penetrate into your skin and helps to you know remove dead skin cells and reveal a brighter skin while bhas those are better so aha is alpha hydroxy acids which consists of glycolic and lactic acid while bhas are beta hydroxy acids which consists of salicylic acid now salicylic acid are oil soluble acids that helps to penetrate the skin and helps to remove the dead skin cells and helps to like you know reveal a newer cleaner and more fresher look so now that we've been able to identify the different kinds of chemical exfoliants under the different categories which is AHAs and BHAs let's now go into which kind of acid or which kind of this or which of this chemical exfoliant is the most ideal for my skin type now if you have an oily skin if you if you listen carefully to you know our explanation you would already hear that 
the BHA, which is a salicylic acid, is oil soluble, which means it is the most ideal kind of chemical exfoliant for oily skin and for oily acne prone skin. Why the other categories, which is the AHAs that consist of glycolic acid and lactic acid, is most ideal for you know dry skin or combination skin type. Now, dry skin meaning that your face gets dry easily you are prone to you know your face getting white getting ashy always feeling dry scaly that means you have a dry skin now for those that have combination skin types you have a combination of both oily skin and dry skin meaning a particular part of your face which could be your t-zone area gets really oily while other parts of your face get really dry if you really want to understand your skin type wash your face just wash your face with a normal face wash and leave your face for about 20 minutes. If after 20 minutes, your face starts getting oily, you most likely have an oily skin. If your face is dry, like very, very dry and scaly and rough, you most definitely have dry skin. If a particular part of your face is oily and other parts are dry, it means you have normal to combination skin type. So for oily skin, salicylic acid is the most ideal chemical exfoliant for you. Dry skin, lactic acid, because lactic acid molecules, I think, are larger. So it's not going to really, really affect your skin. And also it's Lactic acid is also a humectant, which means that it helps to preserve moisture. It doesn't completely strip your face of moisture, okay? It's not going to control oil. Instead, it's going to make your face feel more hydrated compared to other chemical exfoliants. Why glycolic acid is most ideal if you have the combination of both of them, okay? And glycolic acid is also really good when it comes to hyperpigmentations. So... If you have a very sensitive skin, like very, very sensitive skin, like anything you use irritates your skin, you are looking at mandelic acid because this has to be the most calmest version of all the chemical exfoliants that I have listed out here. It doesn't irritate the skin and it still does an amazing job at exfoliating your dead skin cells. Now, if you want to choose a chemical exfoliant for your routine, Chemical exfoliants, especially for your face, they mostly come in either facial wash, they either come in toners, or they come in serums, or you can get them as a face cream. Now, if as a beginner, you need only one chemical exfoliant in your routine, just one. If you've been able to identify which of these chemical exfoliants is good for your skin type, the next step is to get one product in your routine that has a chemical exfoliant so you're going to choose is it going to be your face wash is it going to be your toner is it going to be a serum is it going to be your face cream but you can't get over two products that have chemical exfoliant inside especially as a beginner otherwise you're going to irritate your skin me personally i always prefer you get it as a serum because you don't use your chemical exfoliant every day you use them three times a week use them three times a week so if you get a facial wash that contains salicylic acid or any chemical exfoliant you are still going to have to get another facial wash that doesn't have any of those actives on the days that you're not going to be using your chemical exfoliant so if you have that kind of money go ahead but if you're trying to save money and you're not trying to get two products or three products because you're trying to you know keep one safe you can just get that serum I will, I will obviously attach pictures of serums that have you know either glycolic lactic or mandelic any of them but you have to read the ingredients to be sure that you are getting a serum that has the chemical exfoliant that is good for your skin okay so now i'm going to talk about what we call the cocktail chemical exfoliant now some serums or some toners or some face wash have what we call a cocktail of chemical exfoliants what this means is that it has a combination of both salicylic it has glycolic it has lactic acid inside it so any product or any skincare product that has more than one chemical exfoliant inside of it is what we call a cocktail exfoliant so 
if you have a combination skin type that means you have a combination of both oily and you know dry skin you can look out for cocktail chemical exfoliants that probably contain things like salicylic acid glycolic acid inside of it right you can even get one that contains lactic acid inside of it but this is for those that have tough skin that can tolerate it because any product that has a cocktail of chemical exfoliant inside of it is most likely going to be a bit harsh so you can't try this if you have sensitive skin okay but if you know that your skin is tough and you or you have a normal to combination skin type you can explore products that have a cocktail of ingredients just i'm just letting you guys know so you can be aware but as a beginner I would strongly advise that you understand which chemical exfoliant suits your skin type and then you go and get product that tackle that particular problem so you it's best to get a serum but if you don't want to get a serum you can definitely get you know either a, you can get a toner that has the chemical exfoliant inside and then get another toner that has just normal hydrating ingredient inside and the same can apply to your face wash and thereabouts. But I just really want you guys to understand what chemical exfoliation is. I also want you guys to understand that chemically exfoliating your skin is very important if you want a clear skin. It is so important because if you don't remove those dead skin cells, what will happen is that the more product you're putting on top, they will just be sitting at the surface of your skin and they're not going to penetrate deep inside your skin. And the same thing goes for body products. If you know that your body doesn't tolerate physical scrub well, you have to look out for chemical exfoliating body washes. They come in body washes, they come in body lotions as well. For body washes, Natorium has a lot of good body washes that contain glycolic salicylic acid inside. We also have face fat also has and there's some other brands that also have good exfoliating washes here i'm going to attach pictures here so you can be able to see and you also have to still go a further step to read the ingredients to be sure that that particular wash or product has the ingredients that suit your skin type and remember like we said earlier for oily skin salicylic acid is your best friend for dry skin lactic acid for normal to combination skin glycolic acid and for sensitive skin mandelic acid if you know that you battle with severe body hyperpigmentation glycolic acid also helps with that okay so if you know that you have severe hyperpigmentation and you probably have an oily skin i can suggest that you can either get a cocktail that means you can get a serum or a product that has a cocktail of maybe salicylic acid and glycolic acid inside or you can get a salicylic acid and a let me say glycolic acid serum and use them on separate days you can never use them on the same day so if you're going to exfoliate three times a week you can maybe use your salicylic acid serum on one day use your glycolic acid or maybe two days after and then stick to your you can just keep interchanging them but never on the same day and please look out for lower percentages all these chemical exfoliants they come in different percentages some come there like there's two percent salicylic acid majorly comes in two percent but if you are just starting you can check out for 0.5 percent there's a toner that has 0.5 percent but most salicylic acid serums come in two percent either in face wash form either in toner form either in serum form like glycolic acid glycolic acid has as high as 10 percent for face but for body products glycolic can go as high as 12 percent because like i said before the skin on your body is very very tough so start slowly and build your way as a beginner, if you have watched this point, you should already know the kind of products you need for your skin type. You should already know which of the products you're going to get. Remember, stick to just one product. Don't need to complicate your routine. As you go up, you can decide to add and subtract when necessary. But I just want you to know that having one chemical exfoliant in your routine is enough to treat any skin issue that you're facing. If this video has helped you, please like, share, subscribe, and by the next video, we are going to be talking about brightening serums and how to choose other serums to add in your routine. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon.